first class we're going to recap on is the walls. Uh, we talk about the blocks, we talk about how we want the body to be structured. Block number one, two, three, and four. And I want to also be aware of my block one, two, three, and four. I want to be able to invite my lady to come in close to me. And from there, I want to send my knees slightly forward. So our knees crossing, so we have a good suspension system. And I want my head to be slightly to the left. So if you see that, I'm on the right. She's connecting with my right side and to her right side. Not the right line, a little bit of right side to right side. So if I'm changing the position, if I'm moving, I don't want this right side to right side to be distorted. Now if I'm looking from this angle here, if we do a prominent position, now the lady will turn slightly ahead to the left and to the right side. Uh, sorry, to the right. And then the right side now, well, she will disconnect slightly her left side, her right side to my right side, and connect a little bit more her left side towards my right side. So her body will slightly go this way to me. Very little bit, and I will participate. But not to the point that I will, I will go and turn too much. So that's why we, uh, we did this little combination of whisk and chassis which is a very beautiful step, I think. I'm going to move forward on one. I'm going to go slightly to the side here. But when I do this, I'm going to right away change the head of my partner and then get into my whisk. Now from the whisk, I'm going to lower. And when I lower, I don't want to lower back. I want to lower forward and move in space and turn the end of the lady to get to a close position. Finishing with a side step here and segue into a natural turn if we have to. So that step is called whisk and chassis, and I hope you enjoy it.